Detroit, baby. We out here. You see what's going on. We aggravated. We ain't playing no games. At what point in time did you say um, you wanted to start really fucking with the music? Like, was music always something that you, you know, uh, had a passion for or felt like you wanted to do? Did you ever even see yourself being a, a rapper? Never. I I started rapping because my brother, rest in peace, Wood, boo. Boo yeah, got me rapping. Yeah, dog. he got me rapping. Like, he was always a nigga who could rap his ass off. So we end up doing a song. And at this time, I was kind of in my 20s then. I was in the street then, heavy. I do a song with Wood. And all the niggas in the hood fucking with me on the song, and Wood was mad as hell because he was the rapping nigga. So he like, man, he like, you should probably take this shit a little bit more serious. Niggas fucking with you, and that's when I end up getting with Whoa, and we did uh, the first song. I want to say is hard on the bitch. Mm -hmm. We did that off the Lodge Boys, and then you say that was y'all first song. First song was hard on that's the bitch. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's a legend. Did you yeah, feel hell me? Of a that's produced a, that motherfucker that's too crazy. way back then. Yeah. So, so how did you and Wo link? I mean, I know you say did he put y'all together? Or no, like I what? was fucking with some my man and them, my Finkel, and uh, Wo was his little brother. And then he was like, Wo rap, and then we got together, and the chemistry was there, and we started like fucking him. with each other. He like my little brother, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you say hell of a produce that. If you could talk just briefly, um, how did y'all link with hell of a? Um, and what was y'all relationship back going, you know what I mean, going back? Because I know y'all still locked in now, but just in y'all younger days, what was that like? Man, it was cool. Like, really, the first song I ever done was with Boo and Al Prophet. You know Al Prophet is? Yeah, American movies. Dope. Yep, yeah, yep. We did some shit together first. Like, we did a song, a couple songs. And then that's when I started rapping. Then when I got with Whoa, my man turned me on to hell. He shot us down there because... Hell made West, and we was fucking mm -hmm. with this nigga named Twine. Yeah, Twine, yeah. I'm here. Yeah. So we got with Twine, and he turned us on to Hell. And I'll never forget, we go to Hell and shit, we start rapping to Hell. Like, like that nigga was the most critiquing motherfucker I've ever met. He like, hell no, nah, y'all ain't going in there. Y'all can't say it like that. Y'all sound terrible. But that nigga crafted our style. Like, he, we said, we had what we was talking about, but he showed us how to deliver it. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So that's on the right. That's some new, that's some new shit. That's new information. Mm -hmm. Um, You said hell of a basically. Well, yeah, he form. definitely, he for, he showed us how to do that shit. Like, we ain't know nothing about bars or none of that shit. Like, hell taught us that shit. So if we could talk about bag talk uh, or bags in, um, what, what inspired that? I mean, obviously, it's the lifestyle, get money, mm -hmm. you feel me, you know, doing what you're doing. But what made, because y'all took shit talking to a whole nother level. Yeah. Hell of a actually just said some shit recently. Like, uh, if you listen to a Detroit song, like, it'd damn near have a motherfucker depressed. It's either going to have you depressed or it's going to make you want to get, get some money. Period. Because um, Detroit niggas talking about getting some money. That's about it. Facts. And prior to, the Lodge Boys, um, we can say that you had Court Street Lords, you mm. feel me, Wine Blade. You know, you had people talking that shit, but we got to acknowledge that y'all took that talk that that shit talking to another level. It was more detailed. It's way more detailed. Yeah, like, because niggas was talking shit, like, but they wasn't talking shit like that, like. I'm definitely the first nigga telling niggas to go to Root Chris or go how to eat, like go buy up some belts to match your shoes. Like we was really talking about shit we was doing. Like at the time we had a heavy ass bag coming in fucking with the weed. So that's why we named the CD the bags in. Mm. So we wasn't seeing these niggas at Somerset, none of that shit. Up. These niggas were still wearing dickies and shit. Like not even to be like that, but niggas was wearing dickies and shit. Like we was really coming wearing Gucci shit and all that kind of shit. So that's what we was real detailed about that shit. Like, Straight you know up. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and I, I was go. I, I wanted to ask, like, did you go into it? Like, okay, I'm about to like, what was your process of, of like, you was writing all your shit? Yeah, I was writing all my shit. And you literally was just saying everything that you felt or everything that you I was literally like, saying everything that I experienced because it was a lot of, like, my old man put me on it, a lot of shit. Like, these restaurants and and shopping that shit come from my old dude like my whole life we always ate at morton's and rue chris and shit like that so that was some shit i knew niggas wasn't doing like so i incorporated that in the song 
So a motherfucker like, what the fuck is Ruth Chris? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, then niggas really thought a steak was a hundred dollars when it was really like seventy five dollars. <laughs> straight you know up, what I'm saying? yeah. <laughs> straight up, straight up, man. That's crazy. 